AMD seems to be readying several Radeon RX graphics cards based on its next generation Navi 2X or RDNA 2 and Navi 10 refresh which would be based on RDNA 1 GPUs. In an exclusive post features on his new tech portal, Rogue Game has detailed several Navi GPU SKUs which will be powering all the way from the Radeon RX to the Radeon Pro series graphics cards. As AMD has hinted, the upcoming Radeon RX graphics card would be split into two different GPU architectures. We would have the next generation RDNA 2 based Navi lineup and also existing RDNA 1 based parts which will be offering as a refresh of the existing RX 5000 series cards. Once again the Navi 2X, the primary focus which you know the Navi 21 chip will also be referred to as the big Navi GPU. The Navi 21 GPU is expected to power AMD's enthusiast and flagship offerings that would tackle existing flagships from Nvidia such as the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti and the RTX 2080 Super while also challenging NVIDIA's next generation GeForce lineup based on the Ampere GPU architecture. According to the leak, AMD is planning at least four variants of the Navi 21 GPU which will go on to power the Enthusiast RX graphics cards. The information is derived from the PCI IDs of the GPUs which have leaked out, following a four SKUs that are revealed by Rogame. The Navi 21 XTX, the Navi 21 XT, the Navi 21 XL, and the Navi 21 XLE. Each GPU SKU would be replacing existing cards in the Radeon RX 5 thousand series family but in an entirely different performance segment. In this comparison, Navi 10 also has four GPU SKUs that are available to consumers. The Navi 10 XTX chips with the highest bin part which powers the current Radeon RX 5700 XT 10th anniversary edition. Followed by the Navi 10 XT GPU that powers the 5700 XT, the Navi 10 XL which powers the 5700, while the Navi 10 XLE powers the Radeon RX 5600 XT. We have word that Navi 10 refresh lineup which will still entirely rely on the RDNA 1 architecture, but key feature optimizations with refined process note to deliver better performance than its existing RX 5000 series graphics cards. There were at least three Navi 10 refresh SKUs in the works which include Navi 10 XT Plus, Navi 10 XM Plus, and Navi 10 XTE Plus. According to the leak, the Navi 10 XT Plus GPU which will replace the current Navi 10 XT GPU which powers the 5700 XT. The Navi 10 XM Plus will replace the 10XM which powers the 5600M and the Navi 10 XTE Plus which will replace the Navi 10 XLE that powers again the 5600 XT. The whole reason for this lineup is to offer something to the mainstream segment while the big Navi GPUs tackle the higher end spectrum. Since the report suggests that big Navi, Navi 21 GPU, will be the first RDNA 2 chip to give to the gaming market, it's likely that the Navi 10 refresh could keep things interesting in the mainstream segment until AMD launches its RDNA 2 powered mainstream lineup with the Navi 22 and Navi 23 GPUs. We can definitely expect much lower price points than existing Radeon RX 5000 series cards as the refresh parts would add performance and that would be a bonus. This is a lot like what we had back, well, almost every round of architecture refreshes for AMD. So it's good to see some resurgence to expectations. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.